Howdy, Junior Conductors. I'm Conductor Carl. Welcome aboard the Storytime Express. Merry almost Christmas. <laughs> I love this time of year. The train station's getting decorated as we speak. It's going to be beautiful. Yep, and the kids will soon be on school break. And that means lots of smiling and happy faces all over the train station. <laughs> I can't wait to celebrate Christmas with all my friends. You know, you're my friends too. Would you like to come and celebrate with us? If you do, say, choo-choo, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Conductors, welcome to my school. Well, it's almost time for Christmas break. Oh, that means that I don't have to come to school for two whole weeks. The best part is that right before we leave, the school is having a Christmas play. <laughs> and I want to be the star of the show. Oh, if I'm the star, then everyone will get to hear me talk and sing. It would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> Let's go see if my name some help? Yeah, I can't see if my name's on the paper. Oh. It should be because I'm going to be the star of the school oh. Christmas play. Well, mm -hmm. I can look for you. Oh, yeah. Junior conductors, help me look at the paper for Mia's name. Let's see. There's Sarah, Thomas, Zane, Lily, Marcus, Isabella, Francesco, and faith. Junior conductors, did you hear my name? It sounds like Mia. No, I'm sorry. We didn't see your name on the paper. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Mia. I know you're disappointed. Oh, I see the problem. The school play is only for kids who are in the third grade. And you're in kindergarten. That's why you didn't get to be in the play. <laughs> this is the worst Christmas ever! Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Mia, what's wrong? Oh, Mia found out that she's not going to be in the school's Christmas play because she's too young. Nobody wants my help. <laughs> Junior conductors, let's give Mia a hug. Can you reach your arms out like you're giving your friend a hug? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you know, I have an idea. You'll, you'll tell Mr. Rios to let me in the play? No, I can't do that. But I need someone to play Mary in our church Christmas play. And you would be perfect. Mm, do I get to do lots of singing and talking? No, but it is definitely important. I guess. I think you'll make a great Mary Mia. <laughs> Miss Maya, thank you for helping her out. You know, this all reminds me of the big point. I would love to go to the music store and hear it. That's a great idea. Let's go. 
Hey, junior conductors, welcome to the music store. You know what to do, so bring your hand up to your ear and let's sing today's big point. God can use me. Great job. Let's do that one more time. Put your hand up to your ear. God can use me. Awesome job singing. I'll see you later. Miss Maya, why do I have to wear my pajamas in the play? Well, Mia, that's a robe. A long time ago, people wore those during the day. People wore their pajamas all day long? No, they weren't pajamas. Besides, I think you look like the perfect Mary. Are you sure you don't need me to sing? I can sing really good. Listen. Joy to the world. I don't remember the words, but heaven and something sing. But heaven and turtles and rabbits sing. Well, that was nice, <laughs> but no, you won't have to sing. Miss Hannah in the choir will be behind you singing. All you have to do is sit and hold a baby. Why? Well, you're pretending you're holding baby Jesus. But, but babies poop a lot. Gross! Junior conductors, can you hold your nose and say yuck? Ugh. Well, this is a baby doll. We're going to get started really soon, okay? Okay. Mia? Hey, Miss Megan. Hey. hey. Wait a second. Why aren't you wearing your apron? Oh, well, I'm not working in my smoothie truck today. I'm singing in the choir for the church mm. play. Well, at least you get to do something important. I don't even get to sing. I was looking forward to Christmas, but not anymore. <sighs> now I'm just going to be sad. Junior conductors. Can you help me make the saddest face in the world? <laughs> oh, Mia, Christmas is a joyful time. Yeah, I think it to be the star of the show. <laughs> no, it's joyful because Christmas is full of good news. Like what? <laughs> well, Mia, who are you going to be dressed up like? Mary, but I don't get to say anything. All I do is hold a doll. Well, some people thought Mary wasn't important, but God did. He asked her to be Jesus' mom. And the good news of Christmas is that God can use anybody in his big plan. Me? Everybody. Luke 1, 28 says, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. The angel was saying that to Mary. Are you sure? I'm positive. Let's keep practicing the play and I promise you'll see. Hey, junior conductors, welcome to the music store. You know what to do, so bring your hand up to your ear and let's sing today's big point. God can use me. Great job. Let's do that one more time. Put your hand up to your ear. Me. Awesome job singing. I'll see you later. Junior conductors, our big point says God can use me. I want to share a story with you about a young girl. God gave this girl a very important job in his very important plan for our world. Our true Christmas story begins with a young woman named Mary. Will you say Mary? She lived in a small town called Nazareth, and she was going to be married soon to a man named Joseph. He was kind to Mary, and he loved her very much. Mary was at her house one day, when suddenly an 
angel named Gabriel showed up in Mary's room. Angels are God's very special helpers. God used Gabriel to share a very important message. I imagine the angel shined so brightly in that room. Let's blink our hands like shining stars. Can you imagine seeing a powerful angel standing in your bedroom? Everyone say, wow! Gabriel is a strong, kind angel, and he came to give Mary good news. Now, Mary wasn't a queen. Everyone wave like a king or queen. Mary wasn't rich either, but God thought she was special. The angel told Mary that she was going to have a baby. And that baby was going to be the Son of God, Jesus. Mary was going to become mom to the Son of God. Everyone say, wow! Mary told the angel that she would obey God and help. In a flash, the angel was gone. Everyone say, whoosh! The angel had brought some very good news to Mary. Being Jesus' mom was such a special job. She would need to take good care of Jesus. Let's pretend to rock a baby to sleep. Everyone say, shh. He's hungry. Let's pretend to feed him a bottle. Good job. Oh, now he needs to burp. Put him on your shoulder and say, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Good job. I'm so glad that Mary said yes to being God's big helper. Junior conductors, God wants to make you his big helpers too. That's right. God can use you to be kind to others, to show them love, Oh, you could help clean the house. Or maybe draw a pretty card. Or you could give a hug. Those are all things you can do right now at Christmas. I'm glad that God wants to use us to help. Remember our big point. God can use me. Lots and lots of people saw the play and are saying yes to following Jesus. Really? I didn't even sing or say anything. No, but you did exactly what God wanted you to do. You are just like the real Mary. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Mia, oh my goodness. You made such a great Mary. <laughs> I'm proud of you for giving your best effort. Thanks, Conductor Carl. Oh, well, at first, I thought I wasn't very important because, well, I wasn't the star of the school play. But you didn't have to be. God used you just as you are, and that's because he loves you. God used Mary a long time ago in his big plan. Yeah, he didn't choose a queen or a princess. God chose a girl who loved to serve him. I like doing what God wants me to do. Mm-hmm. Hey. I guess that's why we have so much joy at Christmas. It sure is. God has a big plan for all of us. Yep, in God's eyes, everyone is special in the way he created them. Dr. Carl, uh -huh. I had an idea. What? What if we do this play at the train station Ooh. so even more people can hear about Jesus? I think that's a great idea. Let's ask Ms. Maya if she wants to do it. Yeah! 
Hey, junior conductors, welcome to the music store. You know what to do, so bring your hand up to your ear and let's sing today's big point. God can use me. Great job. Let's do that one more time. Put your hand up to your ear. God can use me. Awesome job singing. I'll see you later. Mia made a great Mary in the church play. Mary's story reminds us that God will use all of us in his big plan. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. God has a plan for everyone. And that good news brings us lots of joy. And you can tell your family all about how God used Mary when you do this week's Big Do. Find someone who needs extra help this Christmas and donate something to help them, like a toy to someone in need. 